Okay, hey, what is up, guys? Just to make sure. Okay, hey, what is up, guys? Wow, no, this is clone troop here. Um, I really hope I haven't said whatever. Hey, guys, this is clone troop here, and I am recording episode, well, not episode, part three of um, Omnicraft series, and I have some brand new news for you guys today. Yeah, um. Okay, guys, yeah, I actually did not upload this one I usually do in the morning, but that doesn't really matter. But, um, in, in other news that actually, is, you know, just happened recently today, um, I need sand for glass, but, you know, yeah. I am now, I do now have a job as a recruiter for Wiser Network, which is an amazing, uh, network that is not freedom. It's just an amazing network that does also have two sub networks currently and they offer a 70 30 split and i'm the recruiter at the moment and hopefully i will become a senior recruiter if i do a good job and everything so um yeah if i am slow on graphics or uh well, I, I won't be slow on graphics i won't really take on many graphic orders um for a bit because i'll be very busy recruiting channels and such and yeah yes you guys i want well, if you wonder why i get asked to be recruiters for networks um it is because i have like around five years of youtube experience um so yeah that that goes a very long way in recruiting if you've been making youtube videos for that long damn i fell in here um you're gonna know what to look for for in good youtube videos and yeah the network i'm with is a small ish network right now but that's because we look for very good decent channels that are active and are somewhat like yeah that know what they're doing we don't want just random youtubers in the channel in the network but yeah it's an awesome network guys i recommend you join if you want to join it um i mean you can apply now but Um, yeah, you can apply with the link I've left down below. Uh, if you would like to talk to me about the network and, and stuff and stuff like that before you join it, just email me at my business email clone troop, uh, clone troop one at gmail.com. That is spelled with K, and you know, I'll talk to you about it. But yeah, I am a recruiter for them now, and like I said, I, I've been one before, so there's that too. I've been one for Aporia. The reason I stopped being a recruiter for Aporia a long time ago, guys, is because they never got any work done. I was literally the only person who did work, and I probably got at least, got at least, I got at least two to three partners a week, and no one else did any work. Uh, the, the social media person did absolutely no work, and no one else barely did any work, and the... Uh, CEO and anyone else and the co-CEO and them were like impossible to get a hold of like I was literally the only one who did any work in that channel and they haven't grown that much since like they've grown a bit um like I like like the main reason they've become a popular ish network is only because they had a GameStop discount code thing and ooh, there's been some add-ons to this oh, the cat um yeah the GameStop discount like benefit that's like the, literally the only reason a lot of people partnered with them and i don't even know if they still have that anymore but uh yeah i don't really choose to work with them because they they do not do any work like i just that that's the original reason i left them uh near the end of last school year so you know it's like last may or june or something like that but yeah wise network is amazing and i will hope to be with them for a very long time but um yeah guys and on another question, which I've been asked, obviously, you know, I've been asked by multiple people, why do you not stream anymore? I don't stream anymore because, well, there's a couple of reasons. Number one, stressful as hell. Number two, um, I did not get respected on Twitch, and in general, the community is toxic as hell. I'm sorry if you guys are... Twitch streamers are awesome. It's just I don't think the community is as good as YouTube. Like, um... Out of any of the comments I get on my videos, most of them are positive. Like, but if I stream on Twitch, I put like eight hours a day into streaming. And I go on there, put eight hours a day into streaming, and I get disrespected by like half the people who watch it. I'm not gonna stream. No, it's messed up. Now, when I go on my YouTube, I've always had positive support from my YouTube channel, which is why I switched to YouTube. And now, especially since I've taken this recruiting job, which is amazing. 
Uh, I do not have the time to stream. Uh, I will probably eventually, like this summer, I will probably stream on YouTube. On YouTube gaming in the summer. Like right now, I don't have time. I will be recruiting and doing, you know, art and stuff all week. Uh, I won't be taking a lot of uh, graphics orders, though. Well, yeah, I, I won't because, like I said, uh, I want to try to recruit and do other stuff and such. But, yeah, um... I'm trying to decide if I should do this every day because I have nine days off of school starting today. Uh, and I, I'm not sure if I'll do this every day during those nine days or not. No, I won't. I'll do it every other day still. But, um, guys, yeah, so like I said, if you want to join the network and have questions, just, you know, contact me via email and, and stuff. Um, like, you know, you can, anyone can go ahead and apply. Um, if you want to, like, like, yeah, if you want to reply and make sure that, you know, you know what you're getting into and everything, uh, I'd advise you to just email me and we will talk about it. But, yeah, okay, now we need, I have a bunch of wood. What I need is sand and I need to work on gathering more sand. Let me put this here. No, not, oh, well, whatever. And a lot of people would not view this as a job, guys, but it, it is a job. There are recruiters for, like, every profet for a anything that there's a company and you have content creators. Uh, or anything that's a big company, they have recruiters, so it's the same thing. Uh, just like every sports, every sports network or company has recruiters also. So anyone who thinks it's not a job, it is a job. It's just that... Um, it is not your average job. It, it is let alone a job though And you know, I know there are always those people who think it's not a job unless it's you actually do like physical labor and shit like that That's, that's not true. I'm sorry the the definition of a job is You know not exact the loose definition of a job is in uh, a, a skill or an activity that you perform and you receive payment for it it's, pretty much what 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 a job is i'm just saying these things so i don't get told by anyone it's not a job because i'm sure i will since that that happened the first time i was recruiter countless times but you know it, it's a job to me and yeah it, it is an awesome job but uh anyways yeah we need sand we need way more sand and it is gonna be nighttime so i have to be careful let me just put this here okay, where, where can we even get sand uh, yeah, because this is all grasslands. I'm not exactly sure where sand is. Because I have been you doing YouTube for around five years. Uh, this channel I've had for three years, and my other channel I had for a year. And my original channel I had the first year of doing YouTube in 2011 or 2010. Um, like late 2010, early 2011. Uh, no longer exists because that channel got hacked. So, yeah. And th that was uh, just Clone Troop. Like, the account name was Clone Troop 6, I think. Yeah, but... And this was originally Battle War, and then I rebranded it recently as... I rebranded it, like, the last six to seven months I had this... I was on this channel before I switched to to uh, Billy the Guardian. I rebranded it as Clone Troop. But yeah, Clone Troop's always just been my, that's just always been my gaming, like, kind of name since I really, since I got into, like, online computer gaming, it's always been my thing. The, fir the first time I actually ever used it, oh, yes, Sand, was uh, when I used to play Club Penguin. I used to be addicted to that shit, you guys have no idea. And that's when I first used it, and I've just used it ever since. It's still my Xbox gamer tag, Clone Troop 6, and I just think it's an awesome name. And it is unique because no one, like, no one spells it the way I do. I spell it with a K, but, and yeah, I've always loved Star Wars too. So yeah, I, uh, it is an awesome name, and I love my logo. Um, yeah, guys, if you think, it, like, if you look at my logo, it looks like I drew it. I did not draw it. How I did that is I made it all 3D, and then I applied a filter to it, Poster Edges filter. And what Poster Edges does is it pretty much makes anything. You apply it to look like you drew it. Like, yeah, that's pretty much what it does. 
So yeah, well, guys, think if anyone like asks me for art graphics art and thinks I can draw you like characters and stuff, I cannot do that unfortunately. I wish I could do that because that would actually be really really helpful, but I cannot do that. I do know people who can, and I've gotten like drawings, like characterized drawings of myself drawn before. I have like I got one like a year ago, and uh, I recently like the last time I streamed. The well, last time I streamed, uh, one of my friends' friend friends um, got drew me a bunch of them. So you know, yeah. Anyone who's gone on my Twitter has seen that, but you know, yeah. I, I would like to, if anyone knows how to draw. I any you know, I don't know the exact name. It's Chubai or something like that. If anyone knows how to draw characterized versions of people and would like to draw me one, uh, please draw me, j just draw myself in like a clone trooper outfit, holding a blaster, and like have my head showing, yeah, that that would be awesome. I, I will probably eventually learn how to do that, um, it's just right now I, well right now I kind of don't have the time and I can't. Like, see, it wouldn't be that hard for me to learn, because I'm a pretty decent drawer. It's just that, um, I don't have a drawing tablet, and you kind of need one of those for that. And there, I could get one for, like, $60, a decent one. I just, there are other things I need to spend money on at the moment, and I don't really have the time to learn it right now. Like a new microphone, for example, which is what we be spending part of my birthday money on. When I turn 18 in two weeks, and hopefully I can get... I will be released from Maker soon because th they pretty much have to release me because number one, it says right on there like if I go on the support ticket page in like uh, problems is my and go into my is my channel uh, renew. Do I have an option to renew my contract? It says no, you don't because you do not meet the requirements. Therefore, they by the rules of their own site have to release me just that let alone and the fact that i did not have signed permission from my parents when i signed the contract when i was under 18 and technically still am for about two more weeks so they legally have to release me whether they want to or not and yeah guys you know i don't like to badmouth other networks but i don't advise you joining maker studios it for one, it is owned by Disney, so it is one of those networks that will partner you and then forget about you and barely pay you and just make crap tons of money off of you. Uh, I never ever received a payment when I was with them, so they might pay you now, but they won't pay you a lot, and they will just keep you for a long time unless you really hassle them about releasing you and you, like send them the correct things and then they'll release you but i do not advise any starting youtubers to sign any contracts with maker makers one of the few people who still have locking contracts and that's become very unpopular for networks to do because it supports the notion that they just partner you and then they never do anything with you and they just make money off of you and lock you in and that's why a lot of people just won't sign the locking contracts with networks and i don't advise you I don't advise anyone to sign a lock-in contract unless you really like the network. And you're with them for a while, and you know that you'll be able to stay with them. Um, yeah, and, and it is really messed up how there are networks that just partner you and then don't do anything with you and just keep you locked in and just make money off of you. It's, it's a really messed up thing, but unfortunately, it can't really be fixed. I, like, just... By YouTube TOS, they're perfectly allowed to do that. As long as they release you when you're supposed to release. That doesn't always happen, but... They're allowed to do that. It's messed up, but there's nothing that really can stop them except for advising people not to sign contracts with the networks that do that. Like, uh, the, the two that do do that, for sure, and if you research it, you'll find that this is true, 100%. Awesomeness TV and Maker Studios are the, like, two well most well-known networks that do that, like... If you research it on Google, period, you will find right out right away that that's what they do. And, and like I said, knowing the most networks, networks like this only really, really pay in a decent amount of money. They really only equally pay net YouTubers about 10 to 5 to 10 percent of their YouTubers. They, which means they only pay the big ones, like... I think PewDiePie's with Maker and Capital Sparkles are with Maker. They obviously get paid because they're massive. 
But, for example, if I joined or some other small YouTuber joined, they wouldn't get paid as fast or a lot or at all, really, because they're small. And I got some sand. Oh, I got over a stack. Awesome. Now I'm going to make some glass. And... Yeah. Oh, end the video. End the video shortly, but... Yeah, guys, I'm just so super excited to just, you know, get back to recruiting. I, I love recruiting net channels. It's like the best job ever, guys. I just love doing it. It is awesome. And don't think it's an easy job. Man, a lot of people will say it's an easy job. It's not an easy job because you can't just go and ask people if they want to be partnered by your network. You, a while ago, when there were only like three or four YouTube networks, you could do that and like put five paragraph comments in YouTube sections. You can't do that anymore. If you want people to join your network, you have to, for example, like start up a conversation with a YouTuber and, um, you know, just keep talking. And then after, you know, you've had started a conversation with them, then you can work in the question that you're a recruiter for a network and ask him if you'd like to join. Now, you, what you don't do is you don't go on his YouTube and spam him with like three paragraphs of how what your network does. That will be viewed as spam and they'll think you're like a network scam uh which i i've gotten plenty of those emails from networks like like that that just spam email you uh, that happens a lot and they just will not pay any attention to you but yeah that, that's my best opinion and that's why people who have been youtubers for as long as i have for a long time are usually chosen for recruiting jobs because they know exactly what to look for because they've been on youtube so long like i have i remember i will used to be with well I used to be with Awesomeness TV, and they are assholes. I'm sorry, they are. See, like, and I remember trying to see. It was a while. This was like three or four years ago, and I did get a link from them, but I'm partnering from them. But it took me three months of spam emailing the shit out of them, and like just nonstop arguing with them to get me to release me and they were pretty much just like you know what we're tired of this we're gonna release you that's pretty much what happened and th that doesn't work anymore this was a while ago when it was a lot different on youtube but yeah i just advise any new youtubers to stay away from maker studios and awesomeness tv maker studios at least presents themselves well awesomeness tv just thinks they're amazing just because they record videos in hollywood that does not make them good they're a wannabe YouTube network that runs their channel like a t cable TV network. Is my view of them. That's my opinion, guys. But, you know, yeah. And if you guys are wondering uh, if, our, cause if our network supports gamers, it, it does. The, the CEO is <laughs> originally a gamer. He used... He still is a, uh, a gaming YouTuber. He does a lot of COD stuff. That's where, how he started, I think, back in 2008. It was a long ass time ago. We, that was like two years before I started. And that's what I originally did, too. I originally started as a COD commentator, too. So, you know, yeah. But, yeah, yeah, guys. There, I, I don't know how many partners are gaming YouTubers. I haven't, like, like, this is all new today stuff. I don't actually know many... I don't even know any of the partners that are partnered with our network, but you know, yeah guys, I hope to partner many new upcoming YouTubers and stuff, but you know, yeah, like, and now if anyone's looking for tips to be good YouTuber is, I just advise you to be yourself, uh, if you have problems commenting, just act like you're talking to a friend or something, and, um, like, if you want to look professional, I advise you to, you know, get good graphics, I do make graphics, uh, like I said, I'm not taking that many orders right now, but, you know, present yourself well, uh, upload consistently or actively, like, I would say three times a week, like I do, I upload, um, Tuesday, Thursday, wait, no, no. Tuesday... No, no, oh my god, I get this confused because this week has been off from you guys, I'm sorry, I upload Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, or the days I upload, because I didn't go to school Monday, we didn't have school Monday, so like the whole week is all messed up from you guys, but you know, yeah, that's some tips right there, but let me just start smelting this and then I'll, I'll end the video here. Just do that. 
that. But uh, also, guys, I uh, am looking to do a SMP series, like a new SMP series with maybe some YouTubers on a server. Uh, if I don't get into one before my birthday. I will probably spend, you see, what I might end up doing with my birthday money, because I'm probably going to end up getting around $100, but I will end up getting a new microphone, and then what I might do is I might take, like, $25 and actually pay for Photoshop, because I cannot figure out how to turn it at the moment. Uh, I take, like, $25 and pay for Photoshop, buy that, and then I'll just, I'll probably spend the other 25 on, like, an $11 a month server. For recording for like just an SMP Minecraft server. I don't know. I have to decide if I want a public server or an SMP server. Because I, I haven't ran a, a public Minecraft server in a long time. Vanilla Minecraft server. In a long time. It's been at least over a year. And it is very fun. So I will think about doing that. If I did, I, I wouldn't actually. It wouldn't be $11. It would be $11 with a public server. $11 a month. And I would probably use Neosync because they're amazing and they would sponsor me. Um, like it, you could get for SMP servers, it's just vanilla with a like, tw yeah, it would just be vanilla with probably like six slots, maybe six or seven slots. It would probably cost me like six or seven dollars, something like that a month. But uh, I'd have to think about that because I like to commute. I will probably do a public server. On my birthday, I'll set that up. I'll set up a public server, guys. Uh, go on my Twitter and stuff. I'll keep you updated on that and all updates in general. But yeah, that is... Let me just... I am rambling right now. <laughs> let me just put this in here. And yeah, that is uh, pretty much it, guys. And also, one more thing. If you're wondering who made my banner, I did not make it. Um, My friend Con, or I think he's his name is Connor, I think. But, you know. Yeah, uh, my friend Connor made me this, and I found him on the Freedom Forums, and he's the person that, <laughs> that, uh, that, um, asked me to be a recruiter for Wiser Network, so, you know. Yeah, he makes awesome Minecraft renders, and, um, yeah, I assume he's a recruiter of somewhat, yeah, I think he's, like, a talent manager or something in the network, but yeah, he's awesome, he does... I assume he does some kind of Minecraft stuff on his YouTube, I don't know for sure, but yeah, guys, um, it's been interesting, hope you enjoyed the video, comment, like, subscribe, and check out Wiser Network, link down below, peace out, guys, bye!